good day. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you! In this video, we will talk about the subsets of a line and those are the line segment and the ray. So, i-recall muna natin ano nga ba yung line. Sa previous uh, video natin, pinag-usapan natin kung ano yung point, line, at plane. So, i-recall natin ang definition ng line. When we said line, it has no width and no thickness, but it has length since it extends endlessly in opposite directions. It is represented by opposite arrows and named by a single small letter. So, ito ay halimbawa ng line. Pangalanan natin ang line na ito as line N. So, sabi dyan, kapag sinabing line, walang width, walang thickness, pero meron siyang length. Since nag extend sila sa opposite directions or sa directions ng left and right. At pinapangalanan siya as a small or single small letter. So, pag-usapan na natin ang dalawang subsets of a line. First is the ray. So, kapag sinabing ray, it is a subset of a line which has one end point and extends only in one direction. Since it extends in one direction infinitely, ibig sabihin walang katapusan, it cannot be measured. It is named by two points with a ray above them and with the end point written first. So this is an example of ray. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung right side lang ang merong arrow. Ibig sabihin yung walang arrow, iyon yung tinatawag nating one end point. At yung nasa right side, iyon yung pwede lang i-extend in one direction. So, ito yung definition ng ray. So, ibig sabihin daw, kapag na extend ang isang side o alin mang side, is it in, oh, it's either in right or left side, ibig sabihin, hindi siya pwedeng i-measure. Kasi, um, infinitely or walang katapusan ang pag extend natin sa right side. So, paano nga ba natin pinapangalanan ang given ray? So, sabi dyan, it is named by two points with a ray above them and with the end point written first. So, we have this given end point and for example, meron tayong point dito. Dahil ang line o ang mga line ay may mga points dito kaya siya nag-form ng line. So, for example, ito yung isa pa nating point. So, the, the end point is named as the point A at yung isa namang point ay point B. So, papangalanan natin ang ray na ito using this given symbol of ray sa taas. And then, kailangan daw kapag pinapangalanan natin ang ray, palagi pong mauuna ang end point. So, it is read as ray AB. Next is the line segment. Line segment is a subset of a line which has two end points and do not extend in, in any direction. Its length can be measured. It is usually named by its two endpoints with a bar above them. So, ito naman ang halimbawa ng line segment. Kung kanina sa ray, merong isang arrow at isang endpoint, ibig sabihin sa isang direction lang siya mag extend Kapag naman sinaming line segment, meron siyang dalawang endpoints, ibig sabihin, hindi na sila pwedeng i-extend dahil wala tayong arrow. So, since meron tayong two end points, kaya sinabing end points, iyon yung katapusan ng point. So, ibig sabihin, pwede nating ma-measure ang haba ng line segment since hindi siya nag -e extend Pinapangalanan natin ang line segment using the names of the two end points. So, let us have these two end points. The first end point is the point N at yung pangalawa naman ay point M. So, we can name this line segment as segment MN or pwede din segment NM. Pwede sila magkapalit ng, um, ng position yung point M at point N dahil pareho naman silang end points. Hindi katulad sa ray, kailangan palagi pong mauuna sa pangalan ang end point. So, when we said line segment, sabi kanina, its length can be measured. So, paano nga ba natin sinusukat ang haba ng line segment? To find the measure of the distance between any two points or length of the line segment, first identify the coordinates of the points and then 
find the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates. So, kailangan daw nating malaman ang distansya ng, o yung sukat ng light segment. Una is alamin natin yung coordinates ng dalawang points and then hahanapin natin yung absolute value ng difference. So again, let us have this given line segment. Meron tayong dalawang endpoints. Ang unang endpoint that is point N and the second endpoint that is point M. So for example, so again, ayan yung ating, um, ayan yung nagsisimbolize sa segment MN or segment NM. So for example, ang, ang coordinate ng N ay 8 and ang M naman ay 15. Ibig sabihin, Simula sa 8, papunta sa 50. So, ano nga ba yung number na kasunod ng, na, ah, ng 8? So, that is 9, sinunda ng 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, kailangan nating malaman yung sukat or yung haba ng line segment. So, paano natin yun malalaman? Kailangan nating hanapin yung absolute value of the difference. Kapag sinabing absolute value of the difference, Hahanapin muna natin yung difference, meaning isusubtract natin yung dalawang coordinates o dalawang points, and then hahanapin yung kanilang absolute value. So that is distance, ibig sabihin, hahanapin natin kung gaano kalayo ang 8 sa 50. So ito yung simbolo ng absolute value, kung marerecall nyo yung mga nakaraang lessons nyo for the first quarter, so ito yung simbolo ng absolute value. So distance equals the absolute value of 8. Minus 15. Bakit naging minus? Ito ay dahil kailangan natin hanapin yung difference. Kaya gumamit tayo ng symbol na minus sign. Okay, so let us subtract 8 minus 15 is negative 7. Paano naging negative 7? Ang 15 ay mas malaki sa 8. Since ang sign ng, 8, uh, ng 15 ay negative, therefore ang sagot dapat ay negative. Or in a proper way, pwede nyong gawin or gamitin yung ating KCC or keep change change. Kung naaalala pa or i-recall nyo, ano nga ba yung keep change change? So kapag sinabing keep, ang positive 8 ay positive 8 pa rin. Change, ibig sabihin ang minus ay magiging plus. And then yung positive 15, change ulit kasi KCC. So yung positive 15 ay magiging negative 15. Kaya naging negative 7 yung ating sagot because different sign Subtract. Okay. So, we have the absolute value of negative 7. Hindi pa iyan yung ating final answer dahil kailangan natin mahana or malaman ano yung uh, absolute value ng negative 7. So, the absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7. Kapag ang negative sign ay nasa loob ng absolute value, yung negative po ay magiging positive. Pero kapag ang negative ay nasa loob, nasa labas ng absolute value, ibig sabihin, hindi magbabago yung negative na nasa labas. So, therefore, the distance of 8 and 15 is positive 7. So, let's have another example. As you can see, meron tayong points L, I, N, E, S. And then, meron tayong mga numbers. Yung line L natin ay merong negative 4. Ang I natin ay merong, ah, sorry, yung point L natin ay may negative 4. Ang point I is negative 2, N is 0, E is 2, and S is positive 4. So, using these given lines, so let us answer the given or the following questions using the figure on the left. So, first, name all the labeled rays in the figure. Ano nga ulit yung rays? So, kapag sinabing rays, Merong isang endpoint at merong nag -e extend in only one direction. Ibig sabihin, merong arrow. So, ano yung mga rays na yon? So, those rays are ray, I, L. Since ang I natin ay endpoint at ang L natin naman ay um, nag -e extend o merong arrow. Next is la, ray, N, L. Followed by ray, E, L. Question. Bakit hindi kasama ang ray S L? Dahil ang S ay hindi siya endpoint. Meron siyang arrow dito sa kanyang right side. So ang S L ay hindi halimbawa ng ray, pero halimbawa siya ng line. So 
after ng ES, doon naman tayo sa NS. Ah, sorry. After ng EL, so hindi kabilang yung SL, so doon naman tayo sa, ito yung ating arrow. So, meron tayong ray ES, ray NS, at ray IS. Again, question, bakit hindi kabilang ang line LS? So, same pa rin ang reason. Ang S natin ay may arrow at ang L natin ay may arrow din. So, hindi sila halimbawa ng ray. Second question, name all the labeled line segments in the figure. So, kapag sinabing line segments, walang arrow. Sa kahit anumang side ng line. So, ibig sabihin, dalawang endpoints. And those are the segment IN. Pareho silang may endpoints. The segment IE, two endpoints, and the segment NE, two endpoints. Pwede ring uh, baliktad, segment EN, segment NI, or segment EI. Hindi kabilang ang L at S dahil sila ay merong arrows, so sila ay kabilang sa ray, pero hindi kabilang sa line segments. Third, is segment IN the same in NI? So, ang segment IN ba daw ay katulad or same lang ng NI? The answer is yes. Dahil pareho silang endpoints, alinman sa dalawang letter o dalawang points ang mauna ay tulad lang. Fourth, is Ray LS the same with Ray SL? So, ang Ray LS ba daw o LS at Ray SL, I say, the answer is no. Dahil ang LS, so ibig sabihin na una yung L, meaning yung L, iyon yung endpoint, at yung S naman yung may arrow. Yung SL naman, yung S yung merong endpoint, at yung L yung may arrow. So magkaiba sila ng endpoint dahil hindi sila pwedeng marambol. Therefore, the answer is no. Fifth question, if Ray IS the same with Ray SI, so tulad ba daw ang Ray IS at Ray SI? No. Dahil ang IS, ang endpoint niya ay I, pero ang S niya, yun yung nag extend Yung SI naman, ang S daw ay yung endpoint at yung I, yun yung Ray. That is wrong. Dahil walang Arrow ang I, that is also an endpoint. So, ang SI ay hindi ray kundi line segment, pero yung IS, iyon yung ray. So, since magkaiba sila, ang isa ay ray at ang isa ay line segment, the answer is no. Okay, next question, find the distance of. So, using this given line, let us now find the distance first. L and E, or point L and point E. Ano daw ang distansya mula sa L papunta sa E? So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong coordinates. Ang point L natin ay negative 4, at ang point E naman natin ay positive 2. Again, para malaman natin yung distance, imaminus natin yung point ng unang, ay uh, yung coordinate ng unang point dun sa pangalawang point. So, negative 4 minus 2. Tulad sila o pareho silang negative, therefore, um, the answer is negative 6. Or, i-apply natin yung proper way which is the KCC, keep, change, change. So, yung negative 4 ay magiging negative 4 pa rin, minus ay magiging plus, at ang positive 2 ay magiging negative 2. So, magiging negative 4 at negative 2. So, meaning, negative 4, negative 2, tulad ng sign, parehong negative, so, we add natin, kaya naging negative 6. At ang absolute value, paragi po natin hahanapin yung absolute value, dahil ang hinahanap ay distance. So, the absolute value of negative 6 is positive 6. Next is point I and point S. Ang coordinate ng I is negative 2 at ang S naman ay positive 4. So, apply pa rin yung KCC. Negative 2, magiging plus and then negative 4. Negative 2, negative 4, parehong negative, kaya naging negative 6. So, negative 6, ang absolute value na negative 6 ay 6. Next, point N and point L. 
ang point N ay may coordinate na 0 at ang L naman ay negative 4. So, 0 minus negative 4. Naglagay tayo ng parenthesis dahil hindi pwede magkatabi ang dalawang sign. So, keep change, change pa rin dahil minus pa rin yung pinag-uusapan natin. So, ang 0 ay 0 pa rin or positive 0. Minus ay magiging plus at ang negative 4 ay magiging positive 4. So, magiging 0 plus 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. So, absolute value ng 4 is 4. Next is point S and point N. Ang coordinate ng S ay 4 or positive 4 at ang N naman ay 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. Absolute value of 4 is 4. Last is point E and point I. Ang E natin ay may coordinate na 2 at ang I naman ay negative 2. So, 2 minus negative 2, naglagay ulit ng parenthesis, bawal magkatabi ang dalawang sign or dalawang symbol. So, apply the process of KCC or keep, change, change. So, ang positive 2 ay positive 2 pa rin. Ang minus ay magiging plus at ang negative 2 ay magiging positive 2. So, magiging 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2 is 4 at ang absolute value ng 4 is 4. So let us now summarize what we have learned about the subsets of a line. So we have two subsets of a line. First is ray. Kapag sinabing ray, it is a subset of a line which has one endpoint and extends only in one direction. Since it extends in only in one direction infinitely, ibig sabihin walang katapusan, it cannot be measured. It is named by two points with array above them and with the endpoint written first. So again, sa array, una pong isinusulat sa pangalan niya ang endpoint, sinundan ng um, point na merong arrow. Next is the line segment. Line segment is a subset of a line which has two endpoints and do not extend in, a, in any direction. Its length can be measured. It is usually named by two endpoints with a bar above them. To find the measure of the distance between any two points or length of the line segment, first identify the coordinates of the points, then find the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates. So, shortcut, ano yung pagkakaiba ng ray at ng line segment? So, kapag sinabing ray, merong isang uh, endpoint and nag extend lang sa isang direction. It's either in left side or right side. Kapag naman, line segment, Meron siyang dalawang endpoints pero hindi nag extend kasi nga endpoints. And then kung ang line segment ay na may measure, ang haba niya, ang ray naman ay hindi dahil ang isang side niya ay nag extend infinitely or walang katapusan. Sana ay may natutunan kayo tungkol sa subsets of a line using this video. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!